doing well um, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to take a size measurement I'm going to introduce my daughter precious joy I'm going to be showing you how to take a measurement a full measurement today stay tuned and I'll tell you how to do that okay guys let's start I start by taking a bust measurement, which is the chest. You just take the tape round. You take the tape round, and then you measure. Make sure she's standing straight. So you take the tape round, and you measure the chest measurement. So make sure the tape is flat on the back. Okay, so make sure the tape measurement is flat on the back and it's easy enough because it's a child. So we start with the bust measurement and then next is the waist measurement. To get the accurate waist measurement, you can ask the child to put their hands on their true waist. Precious, put your hand on your true waist a bit up. Your true waist is a bit high up. Yeah, so this is the true waist. So it asks the child to put their hand on their true waist and then you take the measurement from there you can put your hand down now and you take the waist measurement make sure the tape is lying flat around the body I'll show you the back again so make sure the tape is lying flat around the body okay and that's the waist measurement and then the next measurement is the shoulder to so take the shoulder measurement the child has to turn for you. They have to be facing, their back has to be facing you. Okay? So, you take the measurement. I just tip the camera so you can see it properly. So, you place the measurement tape from this color, the bone here, the shoulder bone. If you feel a hand here, you will feel a bone. So, it's from that point you take the shoulder measurement to the other side. To the other side. So that's how you take the shoulder measurement. And then the back measurement, you can use the ham here to get the back measurement. So this is the shoulder measurement. When you say shoulder to shoulder, so it's from one end of the shoulder to the other end of the shoulder. And then the back is from this guide, the hand here, the armpit here, is guiding you to take the back measurement. So you take it from here to the other end. So that's the back length. Um, across measurement and then to take the length measurement for the back from the neck here of the neck you take it all the way down to the waist so that's the back length measurement in case you want to sew a blouse for her or for he so this is the back measurement and then of course if you want to take the full length back measurement you take it from the shoulder here all the way down to wherever you want the length of a dress or a long dress or a short dress to be turn for me precious and if you want to take a full length measurement as well for the front you start from here from the shoulder here all the way down to wherever you want the length of the dress to stop make sure that the tape make sure the tape is lying flat against her body as you do that and she's standing straight not looking down okay the next thing we are going to do i'll show you how to take the hip measurement so our hip measurement you just take the measurement tape go down make sure the measurement tape is lying flat again make sure the tape is lying flat Make sure the measurement tape is lying flat. I'm just adjusting the camera so you can see better. So make sure, precious, lift your hand up a bit for me. Make sure the tape is lying flat. And don't forget, put like one your finger, one finger into the tape. That's for wearing allowance. Don't measure it exact a body. When you're taking measurement, don't measure it exact the person's body. Because you need a wearing allowance. So you take it around the hip. This is the hip. You make sure it's free enough. The 
but it's a child. You don't want to dress or the blouse or to be too tight on her. So, if it's a boy, you will need to take the neck measurement. If you are measuring a, a me, a boy. And to take the neck measurement, you just bring the tape around the neck. You bring the tape around the neck, just like so. You put, you see this point here of the neck? You put the tape there. And then you bring the other part of the tape to this point. That is how you take the neck measurement for anybody, a girl, boy, man, woman. So that's the neck measurement. And then to get her shoulder to her waist, just where she put her hand before for her waist, you put the measurement tape there, and then you measure from there to her waist. From, from the shoulder to her waist, so you get the half length. So that's how you get the half length, which is from shoulder to waist, okay? And then also, to take a full length for a blouse, you just take a top, you just put the measurement tape on top of her shoulder and you measure to wherever you want the length of the blouse or the top to stop. Then for a skirt, if you are making a skirt for a child, you take the measurement from a waist here down to wherever you want the length of the skirt to be for a short or a long skirt. And also if you want to get the hip measurement for a child, say from the waist to hip, you measure it from her waist to her hip, so you know the length of her hip. And if you want to measure from shoulder to hip, so you measure, you put the measurement tape here, you measure from here all the way to where her hip starts, that's shoulder to hip. And then if you want to measure um, the arm, <coughs> measure a ham to measure your biceps you take the ham look take the measurement tape round and you measure the biceps and then for the elbow you want to measure the elbow elbow bent a bit elbow bent a bit and then you measure the elbow this way and then you ask her to release her, her elbow. You can release it now. Just to make sure you get the correct elbow measurement. The same thing you do with the ribs. You take the measurement tape. You have to pass, when you've done it like this, you have to pass the tape through her hand to make sure it comes off the hand. Okay. And then to measure the sleeve length, you start from the bone, the shoulder bone here. There's a bone here. You start the sleeve length from there to the desire wherever you want the length of the sleeve to be. Either um, short sleeve, three quarter sleeve, long sleeve, any sleeve length you want to do. And to measure across a chest, all you need to do is take the measurement tape and just put it here. Let the armpit here guide you from this point here. Let's move the camera slightly. So from this point here to the other point here is a chest. So that's chest across. Okay. So these are the full measurements I used when I want to make a dress, a top, a skirt for a child of 10 years old so this is a 10 years old measurement some 10 years old are a little smaller than this so but this if you follow this method you should be able to get the accurate measurement of a child you can measure any child using this method even a boy you can do the same thing for boys it's the same turn around if you want to measure the shoulder for boys it's the same thing you just take the measurement tape as well And you put the measurement tape to the back sometimes for the sleeve for boys sometimes for the sleeve for boys you have to start the half length from the half of the shoulder which is from the back neck here and then you take the measurement tape down if you, that's if you are measuring the sleeve because some people prefer this measurement so you, you take it all the way from the half 
of the bag to wherever you want the sleeve length to be. But for female, you don't really need that. You just need the back, the shoulder, the back, and the length of the back. So that's all you need, guys. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.